Hello again, this is Chemdork, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to color your sheep. Now, um, sheep, normally you hit them once, you get wool. Um, and the wool you can use to build some structures if you want. It's nice white color. You uh, left-click on a sheep with... I'll just use my hand. He doesn't die, but he spits out one, two, three uh, pieces of wool. There we go. Um, the white pieces of wool are really nice, but as of a recent update, you can now color wool uh, different colors with dyes. The dyes are obtained by crafting and gathering various resources in Minecraft. Here I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in this chest I have all my pieces of wool, so instead of just white, we have magenta, red, yellow, orange, pink. There are 15 different colors as of uh, the current beta uh, release, 1.3.01. And here are the dyes underneath, and here are the pieces of wool that you get. Now you make dyes from various items uh, that you find and various items that you craft in the world. So for example, Let's uh, go to our crafting table and show you some of the what, what are referred to as the primary colors. These are colors that are obtained uh, very easily with basically one crafting or no crafting. So you pick the roses you find in the, uh, in the landscape and uh, just craft them alone and you crush them up and get your red dye. Do the same with the yellow flowers and you get yellow dye. Pretty simple. Um, the bone you actually get from killing skeletons gives you bone meal, which is essentially your white dye. Green is obtained from cacti. Uh, you cannot just craft cactus. It doesn't, uh, doesn't work that way with the cactus. You actually have to, strangely enough, bake them in your furnace. I don't know how this really gives you uh, dye, but apparently it does. So let's just wait, and you'll see we get cactus green. Pretty cool. Um, there's also various other colors. I'm not going to show you uh, lapis lazuli. This is the blue. This is uh, gathered from resources underground. Um, and some of the other final, um, I guess the the last, the last bit of primary color is black, which is uh, obtained from these ink sacs, which you can get from killing squid in the water. I'm not going to show you doing that now because it sometimes is difficult to find some squid. From that, there are also secondary colors. Secondary colors are combinations of primary colors and or a combination of a primary color and something else. So for example, we know mixing red and yellow together gives us orange, and it does in Minecraft as well. Blue plus yellow does not give you green, though. Um, and most of the colors you can combine with white or bone meal and get the lighter version of that color, so red plus white gives you pink. Um, let's see, blue plus white gives you light blue, and if you notice, I can put these in other any combination whatsoever in here. There's no positioning that's necessary. So uh, blue and white gives you light blue. The green and white gives you a lighter form of green. The lime green looks a lot nicer. Um, Let's see, and, uh, oh yes, there is also black and white, which gives you gray. Gray is kind of funny, you can actually further combine gray with white and get light gray. You could just go crazy. And, um, then there's a bunch of other different uh, combinations you can make. Uh, let me grab something else here. Green and blue gives you cyan. You can make purple by, I believe it is red, and it's not blue. Oh, yeah, it is blue. Okay. thought it was light blue for some reason. No, no, it's red. Red and blue makes purple, as one would expect. Um, purple and pink give you magenta. And I believe, is that everything? Uh, let me just check here. Yeah, that's everything. So there's all your 15 colors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14 for the white, and I'm missing one. Oh, the dark green, 15. Okay, so there's 15 colors. Le now let's uh, go out and color some sheep. Let's color some sheep a uh, lime color. There, are, uh, Actually, well, before I do that, there are two different ways you can color wool. You can either 
combine normal wool with dye, again, in any type of way, and you get colored wool. The better way, the much better way to do it, though, however, is to first color your sheep. So paint your sheep. Let's paint them blue. And then um, harvest their wool. And in that way, you get a maximum number of three pieces of colored wool for every piece of dye. If you just combine a piece of dye and um, a piece of wool, you will always have a one-to-one -one ratio there. You always have one piece of dye, uh, one piece of colored wool for every one piece of dye. So let's go find a sheep and put this demonstration to the test. Where are you? There you are! Uh, by the way, you can color black sheep and gray sheep and light gray sheep any way you want. So to color the sheep, you just right-click on them with the dye, and now he's colored. A blue sheep. That's, uh, that's a first. All right. Well, let's gather your wool. Okay, well, he only gave me one this time. Let's go find another sheep. Maybe, uh, he doesn't... he didn't... he didn't want to be colored. Um, he wanted to be... he didn't want to be painted. Let's paint some sheep. Come on, sheep. There's a cow. You cannot color anything else but a sheep, but, uh, sheep and wool. As far as I can tell, uh, you cannot do that. And actually, let me test something. I don't believe you can color in your white wool after. Maybe you can. No, you can't. So you have to color in the wool before you place it. Uh, so it doesn't work right. Ooh, there's Ooh. a sheep. Oh, oop. Let's actually make a... Let's make a green sheep. I want to make one green. So like I said, you can actually color in the black sheep that you find. If you just uh, hit the black sheep, you will get black wool. Uh, this is actually dark gray. But, okay, see, he can be colored green. Hit him, okay, he still only gives me one. Come on, sheep, tell me, show me that this is the best way. There we go, he gave me three. So that's three pieces of colored wool for one piece of dye. Pretty good. Yeah, okay, orange coloring is working pretty well. Alright, so that's pretty much coloring wool. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, we'll be back with a little more, and um, have fun playing Minecraft. Alright? Bye-bye.